The National Health Insurance Bill has been published for public comment. The basis of the bill is Section 27 of the Constitution, and that says everyone is entitled to have access to healthcare services. But the point I want to make is that healthcare services are not so much about doctors and hospitals, they're about money. And I'd like to look at the constitutional aspects of the National Health Bill. So it'll give you some background against which to comment on the bill. They fund the bill, they fund the National Healthcare Fund by, first of all, we will all have to register and pay upfront for national health services. That'll be according to your income. There'll be a sliding scale, and the higher your income, obviously, the more you're going to pay upfront, and then you get free services at the point of healthcare delivery. But that, of course, is not going to be enough. And the funding mechanism for the National Health Bill has been set out in the bill, but it hasn't been set out in a money bill. Now, our Constitution says that if you're going to have any legislation which requires funds from the National Treasury, you need to accompany it with a money bill, and the money bill has to be prepared by the Minister of Finance. Up to now, the Minister of Finance hasn't commented on the National Health Bill, and we are told that they are busy with it at the moment. So the problem is that you can't comment on the National Health Bill until you know how it's going to be funded. So let me tell you a bit about what the bill itself says. First of all, it says it will take money from the National Treasury. That's what happens in our Constitution. There's provision in the Constitution that money in the National Treasury gets appropriated every year by the National Assembly. The National Assembly holds a debate. They get input from every single department, whether it be health, education, police, drought relief, whatever the case may be. Everybody puts in their budgets for the year. And then the National Assembly produce what's known as the Appropriation Bill, and they appropriate money for all these various services that the government has to provide. But a major component of that is what is called the equitable share that goes to provincial governments. Now, the provincial governments deal with health. The Constitution said it's a provincial, it's a provincial matter for healthcare services to be provided by the provinces in terms of provincial legislation, and they get an equitable share of the national budget. The equitable share that the provinces got in the last budgetary division was 505 billion, and about 200 billion of that goes into health care and hospital services in the provinces. Now, the National Health Bill says that they will shift that money from the provinces into the National Health Fund. But that, of course, cannot work because the money being used by the provinces is not in order to establish a fund, but to run the provincial hospitals. And if you take the money out of the provincial hospital system, where is that money going to come? There won't be hospitals in the provinces if the money is appropriated by the national government for the fund. So that cannot happen. Then they talk about a payroll tax. That'll be like you pay for workmen's compensation and UIF. A payroll tax, which will be levied at point of employment. Then they talk about if there's not enough money for that, then a surcharge on your income tax. And by the way, they have already taken away from you the, the tax credit that you get if you're a member of a medical scheme. So there's a list of things according to which the government will take money as they need it for this purpose. None of them at the moment are constitutional. None of them have been dealt with in a rational way in the bill. And none of them have been dealt with in a money bill. The other problem with the legislation is that there's supposed to be a consultative process where you go to the public and you give the public access to the bill and the ability to comment. Now, the health department is going around the country at the moment holding public meetings in order to tout the national insurance bill. But that is not consultation in any form because we don't yet know how the system will be funded, and it's all about a national health fund not about healthcare services and how they are improved. So the consultation process at the moment isn't working, and it won't be your last opportunity to make submissions to the government because the money bill is being prepared at the moment, I hope, by the Minister of Health, by the Minister of Finance, and we will have some idea about how it's going to be funded. So don't think this is your last opportunity to make submissions.